My name is Jeremy Cohen. I'm a cardiologist at Southlake Regional Health Center, and I work at the Pace Cardiology Clinic. I work in, as a general cardiologist and in cardiac critical care at Southlake. I also work at the Heart Function Clinic, and I'd like to talk a little bit about heart failure. So heart failure is a condition whereby patients can get congestion and backup of fluid into the lungs, or poor forward flow of blood out of the heart to the rest of the body, or both. And there are a variety of conditions that can cause heart failure. Either the heart function can be reduced and the heart squeeze can be reduced, or the heart can be very stiff, causing some of those symptoms I was describing. There are a variety of potential causes of heart failure, and if you do experience symptoms of heart failure, you should present to your physician as soon as possible, and if the symptoms are very severe, you should go by ambulance to the emergency department immediately. Some of the symptoms that people can experience with heart failure include shortness of breath with activity or at rest, chest discomfort, palpitations or heart racing, lightheadedness or dizziness, leg swelling or bloating, and trouble breathing at nighttime or developing a cough at night or waking up out of breath in the middle of the night. So as I mentioned, if you do experience those symptoms, you should go to your physician, if it's a gradual, or to the emergency department. Some of the things that we do to treat heart failure include giving diuretics to make people pee so that there is less congestion. We also, depending on the cause, of heart failure treat with very specific medications to, try, to try and improve the heart function. And we also do a number of investigations to look into the cause of the heart failure, uh, such as looking for any blockages in heart vessels as one example. If you do have symptoms of, of heart failure or, di or are diagnosed with heart failure, things you can do uh, at home to help prevent the symptoms from recurring or, tr or to try to reduce your salt intake because salt causes fluid retention and can make heart failure worse. Also reducing the, your fluid intake and restricting your fluid intake to about a liter and a half to two liters a day. Also to try and reduce congestion and some of those symptoms I was talking about. And other things you can do to monitor your fluid levels are to weigh yourself every morning before you go to the bathroom, before you have any water, consistently with the same amount of clothes on and on the same scale on a daily basis and keep a record of it. And if your weights are going up by one to two pounds a day or five pounds in a week, that could be a sign of fluid retention and you should be in touch with your physician as soon as possible so medications can be adjusted. And if you have any further questions about the area or about the uh, topic, uh, please contact us or get, try to get a referral to uh, a cardiologist. You should call 911 and have an ambulance take you to the emergency department immediately. If you experience severe symptoms of shortness of breath, of chest discomfort, severe dizziness, or certainly passing out, uh, those would all be uh, signs of something potentially bad happening with your heart, either heart failure or having a heart attack. And you shouldn't drive, but should call the ambulance to take you to the emergency department as soon as possible.